Hello Knights Brigade, I'm Knight Six, and today's podcast, the seventh podcast in our series, is going to be focused on government travel. Why is government travel a point of discussion? Because it's a force multiplier inside our formation and is tied to the Chief of Staff of the Army's number one priority, which is readiness. Uh, the government travel card is a force multiplier, but we to make sure that we manage it appropriately and we have the right protection measures in place to protect our needs and the government's needs. A lot of common problems that we see with the government credit card is where do we use it and how do we use it. Uh, there's many establishments that we can use, such as hotels, restaurants. There's other establishments that we should not be using them, such as adult-themed restaurants um, and other locations that uh, are off-limits to the United States government in foreign, uh, in, in foreign countries. While filing your voucher within five days is important, it's important to know who managed your travel card. At every company level, and sometimes and also in the battalions, there's one person responsible called the Agency Program Coordinator. This is your best friend when it comes to the travel card. He turns your card on, he or she turns your card on and off. They also assist you with any travel questions you might have. And most of all though, this person also assists you with in and out processing to make sure all the paperwork is signed and you fully understand everything regarding with your travel cards. Thank you, Jed. Thank you, Brian. And in closing, you can always go to the command policy letter, number 10, to receive guidance. You can always go to your defense travel administrator if you have any questions. But the bottom line is that this is a commander's responsibility to take care of soldiers executing our mission. And that's one more way the 16th Sustainable Brigade sustains a strong Europe.